Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. 3D videos from simple images. Mm, how to do it? Let's see. In this video, I will be showing you how to bring a still image to life. With these simple tricks, you can follow. First, let's generate AI image. For this video, we will use Dremina AI because I feel like the images it can generate like so cinematic and just look at this image quality. They are absolutely amazing, right? By the way, Dremina is an AI image tool which connected to CapCut that allow you to generate images from text and even general images from image. Also, they got some really cool features which you can watch on my previous videos including the basic tutorial. So to start generate AI images, you can click the link description below and sign with your account and they will give you a free token every day. We go to image generator. Now describe the image you want to generate using text prompt. I'm gonna set the model to image 2 pro which is the latest version. The quality will be 9. The higher number will generate better image quality. And the aspect ratio will be landscape or 16 by 9. Now click on generate. We have four images. Choose between the ones that you like or click on generate again to produce more images. I'm gonna go with this one and upscale this image to enhance the image quality. I think I need wider range of this image. So I'm going to expand. I want to expand it to 1.5 times. You can enter a prompt to describe and fill the blank area. But I'm but I just gonna leave that and click on generate. And finally we have an image that we're gonna animate later in CapCut. So it's time to separate each for the background and foreground. We can still use Dremina to do that thing. So just click on that image. And we go to edit on canvas. First let's remove the background by clicking this. Dremina will cut them out and selecting the subject automatically. Click remove background. When you're done, export as PNG file. Click undo to bring back this image to normal and we are going to get rid that foreground by click remove. Make selection on the subject using brush tool. And click remove once again. Now export this background. Animate images. Let's go ahead to CapCut and import the background image. I'm gonna set the duration to about six seconds. After that, import the foreground above background layer and match the duration. It's time to add overlay. Adding overlay can make your image visually come to life. So I'm gonna add thunder flashing, which I found on the internet. I place this above background layer, which behind the subject. Change the blending mode to screen to remove the black screen. Change the scale and position as well to get the exact place. And merge that with background by create compound clip so that we can apply the same effect together later. Now I add a rain overlay and place this above the foreground or top layer. Change the blending mode to screen as well. And bring down the opacity to about 40%. You know we cannot merge this overlay with foreground because this image is transparent. It will turn black if we create compound clip so we just leave that. It's time to create parallax effect by transform but like adding depth to your scene. We start with the background. Add a keyframe on the beginning of that clip. Move to the end and scale up just a little bit. And it's automatically set another keyframe. So that the camera will look 
like slowly zooming. Then repeat the same way for the foreground. But we scale up even more for the end of keyframe because you know this object is very close to the camera so that it's all be move a lot faster. And we want to add fake camera shake or movement to this. So we go to effects and let's find play pendulum. Then apply this to foreground. I set the twist to zero, strength 15. Sharpen zero and the speed to 20. Then repeat the same way to background. But we bring down this strength even more, maybe to about 5. So the moment is not too exaggerated because the background is far from the camera position. Finally, to make this even come to life, you can add sound effects. So that's how we can take a still AI image and animate it easily inside of Dramina and CapCut. Just click the link below to go to Dramina for free and also watch my previous videos if you want to know about Dramina, like the basic tutorial and how to transfer your image to the next level. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye bye.